Mexico defeated Germany 1-0 in their opening group stage game, providing the World Cup with its biggest upset yet. Germany joined France in 2002, Italy in 2010 and Spain in 2014 as defending World Cup champions to lose their opening game in the following tournament. Mexico capitalized on a strong start Mexico got off to a flying start, failing to convert a strong scoring chance in the opening minutes of the match. The opening was a sign of things to come for Mexico. Etri used the speed up front to catch Germany out of position throughout the half. Mexico clearly came into the game planning to counter-attack over the aggressive German attacks. With both German full-backs pushing forward, Mexico were able to play long balls out from the back to spring and attack. In addition to the full-backs being caught too far forward, Mexico were able to draw the German midfield too far forward. One of Mexico's counter-attacks caught Sami Kadira almost 40 yards behind the play. Another win against either Sweden or South Korea will likely be enough for El Tri to reach the round of 16. The win also takes pressure off of manager Juan Carlos Osorio, who was on the hot seat entering the tournament. Mexico won narrowly, but could have blown Germany out when Herving Lozano scored in the 35th minute. Mexico probably should have been a couple goals up already. They had several good openings that they failed to convert, too many touches, a pass just too far out in front, an unwillingness to shoot when presented with the opportunity, which allowed Germany to stay in the game. Eltri can't afford to waste the number of chances they had against Germany in future games against South Korea and Sweden. Mexico were also impressive in defense. They were well organized and mostly restricted Germany to shots from outside the box, which Guillermo Ochoa dealt with well. If Mexico are able to keep a strong positioning and defend as a team, they could reach the quarterfinals for the first time since 1986. Germany need to improve quickly. It's hard to pinpoint any German player that played well. For most of the game, they looked slow, sloppy and sometimes out of position. Perhaps the only player that had an above-average game was keeper Manuel. Noy, a relief given his injury issues over the past year. Mistakes started at the back for Germany, with Mats Hummels and Jerome Boateng sloppy with the passing. Both players struggled to deal with the speed of Mexico's attack, while the rest of the Germany team did little to help the centre-backs. Joshua Kimmich, Marvin Plattenhardt, Tony Cross, and Kadira aggressively pushed forward, leaving the centre-backs exposed to the counter-attack. Plattenhardt was forced into the starting 11 after Jonas Hector was too ill to play. Dimanshaft have to hope Hector is healthy enough to play against Sweden. While Hector is far from the flashiest player, he's rarely caught out of position and is a defensive upgrade. Given the numbers they were committing forward, Germany were surprisingly toothless in attack. Mexico successfully forced Dimanshaft wide where Kimmich and Plattenhardt sent in a lot of crosses into the box, almost every one. Failing to find a teammate, Germany's best chance came shortly after they went behind when Ochoa tipped cross free kick onto the bar. Joachim Lowe might consider changing his system. He left Royce on the bench to start the game, but they missed his speed and willingness to run at players. Kadira had an up and down season with Juventus. It might be time for Lowe to consider starting Ilke Gundogan in his place. It will also be interesting to see how long Elish Lowe has with Timo Werner. There's no denying Werner is the best striker in the squad. But the RB Leipzig star was almost invisible against Mexico. Mario Gomez isn't as talented, but he's experienced at this level. And will provide a better target for all those crosses. <laughs>